Guess where I am? Does that palm tree give away anything? It's right, I'm at the Australia's most haunted cemetery in Kapunda, South Australia. This is the most haunted cemetery apparently in Australia. So we're going to walk around and See if we get spruced. But the thing is with this place, while we're all sitting having a quick drink and a smoke, my mum said she saw lights. Now, there is no cars coming and I couldn't see them. So, what was my mum seeing? There's, there's only me here. And she said she saw car lights. Now, why would you see car lights when it's sunny as? This is the cemetery. Where the infamous priest is buried that molested the girls from the girls' reformatory. Which is up, used to be up there, but the, they have been demolished due to vandalism. So let's start this investigation in the most haunted cemetery in Australia. Hello, 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 hello. And I must ask, are you ready, Marie? Are you ready to walk the most haunted cemetery in Australia? Now you must catch up. No cutting any damn video out. No cutting the whole damn thing. And no holy shit fire. 
So let's get this investigation on the road. Hello to everyone in the Kapunda Cemetery. My name is Jackie and I am fully protected. So you cannot use the energy, my energy, but you can use the energy from my devices. Well, this, one, this guy died in 1866, Patrick Sexton. And this place has got a weird smell. Very weird smell. Ellen Gillick and Simon Gillick. They use rest in peace. And here, look at this, Rose. I don't know about snakies today, guys. It is a bit warm, but we're coming, we're into winter now. Oh, the artwork on this, this is Rose. Who died in 18, oh, could be 65, 60 or 50. May Rose rest in peace. Oh, it's got a weird smell in here. Oh, it smells like death. And I'm not saying that because this is the most haunted cemetery in Australia, but oh, it's got a weird smell. And I've never smelled, I've been here before, I meant about three times now. And I've never smelt that smell. Might be manure. Because there's a field right there. And look where you are. Imagine if you was in that girl's reformatory. And you tried to escape. This is all you've got. Nothingness. And you're a good, you're a good few kilometres away from the actual township. Of Kapunda. Here we have... Michael Dermody, who died in 1861. Hello, is there anyone here who would like to communicate with me? My name is Jackie. I do not mean any disrespect to anyone in this cemetery. You can come up and touch this K2 device and all it does, it lights up pretty colors. Or you can come up and touch this K2, this Spirit box, which I'm going to turn on now, and all that does is allow you to hear your voice. Hello, is there anyone here? My name is Jackie. And Marie's back there. She's coming. Hello. Michael Dundrun. Dundon. Is there anyone in this cemetery who wishes to communicate? Bernard Kildare or James or Margaret? Anyone at all? Anyone wishes to communicate with me? Wife Panora Gleason, who died in 1866. Are you here? What is those in this section? Is there anyone here at all? Anyone want to communicate? Okay, I'll turn the spirit box off. Is there anyone here who wishes to say anything into my camera? What about... Anna Teresa Lachlan, who died in 1872. And Mary O'Loughlin, who was only eight months, who died in 1872.
Is there anyone at all in the Kapunda St. John's Cemetery who wishes to say anything? Is there anyone at all? You could come up and touch this grey device I have in my right hand and all it does is lights up pretty colours. Considering you're supposed to be the most haunted cemetery in Australia, you ain't doing much. Come up and, come up and touch this device. Yeah, it's on. Come up and touch this device I have in my right hand. I don't believe you're the most, it's the most haunted cemetery in Australia. Nah. Come up and prove me wrong. Anne Horton Norton. Who died in 1865. Is there anyone who will come up and touch this device? Or are you too gutless? This is supposed to be the most haunted cemetery in Australia. I don't feel anything. That one, that one's cool. Come on. I want the most haunted. This is supposed to be so haunted. Can I believe the stories about <coughs> about um, people walking, um, ghosts, spirits walking around? And the spirit of um, Ruby, Ruby Bland. Come on. Show yourself to me. Show me you're real. Or you're too scared. I know the bloody wind would break off. Oh, look at that, guys. That's the view. Bloody wind. Come on, prove to me that you're here. Come up and touch this device. It's on. Won't hurt you. Thought this is supposed to be haunted here. It ain't haunted. It's just all stories, legends. I'm not afraid. And here it is, guys. Ruby Oliver Bland, who died in 1909, apparently molested by the priest of the reformatory. Now, I want to know, Ruby, is it true that you was molested by the priest? And did you get pregnant from him? Ruby Bland. Are you here? Bloody wind, guys. Is Ruby Bland here? If you are, is it true that you was molested and got pregnant by the priest from the girls' dormitory? Tell me the truth. Was it just a little story? Can anyone tell me is it true that Ruby was raped by the priest on the girls reform tree. No, nothing. See, you're not haunted. This place ain't haunted. I don't believe it. Patrick Rowan died in 1865. Hello. Look at the size of these ones over here, guys. 
Now, I myself do not believe much, much of the information from this um, cemetery. Now, some people do believe the story. I wish I could come here at night time to see the lady with the lantern and Ruby walking around looking for her mother. But I live too far away. Is there anyone here? Look at the size of that one, Cornelius Leary. That is massive. Look. Is there anyone around here that wants to say anything? I'm going to be quiet now and I'm going to see if I can hear you. Man, that smell's coming back again. Got to keep my eye out for snakes. It's always windy up here. Always. Anaroma, you rest in peace. It's always windy. Hello. I'll take you up to the reformatory ruins. Ruby Bland was raped by the priest. This in the middle of nowhere. Bridget. John Gorty. Unknowns. Hello. Speak with me. Anyone want to go to the dunny? Toilet's there. I wouldn't take any. There's a drop toilet. There's a drop toilet too. And this is for the McCarthy family who lost. Miss this. Yeah, if I remember rightly, the family was caught in a bush and a fire. That's it. Yep. This monument was erected by Martin McCarthy sacred to the memory of his dearly beloved wife and six children who were burned to death by a bushfire at Franklin Harbour on the 30th day of December, 1880. And look, someone's put a remote control car in there for him. This is uh, for Mary, she was 50. Mary, the daughter was 19. Honora was 11. Catherine was nine. Joseph was seven, Bridget was four, Ellen was two. Now, the story I know of this is that when the, only, um, the son and the husband went out to do the work and the children stayed behind with their mother and a bushfire come through and they had nowhere to escape. So the mother grabbed the youngest and huddled into the kitchen where she was burnt to death. Now that's the story I've been told. Look at that. And she had no way of escaping and that she died in the kitchen with holding her child. Now, 
I am going to turn the spirit box on. Oh, there's a car. And we're going to see if we can get anything to come through. Hello? This is a tourist attraction, this place, guys. Hello? Does anyone need the toilet? The toilet's just here. It's a drop box. Hello? Is there anyone here who wishes to say anything? That Billy. Margaret Brody and Joseph Brody. Cornelius. That's baby, eight months old. Hello. I'm going to take you up here, guys. And then I'll take you up to the reformatory. We will walk around. Hello. No. No one wants to talk. I'll take you up here. This is the St. John's. Historical site. Now I'll allow you to read. That there is from there, the St. John's Church. That's the church. And there's the dormitories. Which is up there. Where that pine tree is. This is what it used to look like. And that's it up there. So we'll continue on our little bit around here. Come on, Marie, hurry up. Holy shit, fire. Immaculate heart of Mary, your prayers for him extol, O sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on his soul. Check out that. How cool is that? Okay, this is the where the priest was buried. This is the, the priest from the reformatory and the churches are buried here. And there's James Martin. Memory of Reverend Monsignor George Michael Williams. That is the one who apparently is the sorcerer. So I think we need to find out the truth, don't you think, guys? So we're going to find out. Because if it's true, why would they give him such a big burial? A proper burial. Okay, I'm going to turn the spirit box on now. Sounds weird. Reverend James Martin. Are you with me? The, the right.
Right Reverend Monsignor George Michael Williams. What's that spell again? Are you here, Reverend Martin? Did you child molest Ruby Bland, Reverend Martin? Reverend Martin, speak with me. Tell me that you did not rape and get pregnant, Ruby Bland. Is there anyone here? Reverend James Martin. Speak with me. No. Must be gutless. Guys, I don't find this place spooky at all. It might be a different story at night, but not hearing anything. Not hearing anything. Okay, you don't want to talk. Go do our last little bit, and then I'm going to go because it's a fair drive back home. Is there anyone at all who wishes to say anything before I leave? I do not believe this is haunted. Okay, I'm going to turn the spirit box on. Off. You must all stay here. May you all rest in peace. And that you're with God. May you all rest in peace. Goodbye. So that's going to be a wrap up for the most haunted cemetery in Australia. In the St. John's in Kapunda. Me, literally, I don't feel anything. What do you reckon, Marie? Did you feel anything negative here? Hmm? Hello, everyone. See, I don't know, Marie didn't say much either. So, if you like this video and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Nickel, uh, nickel. Tickle that notification bell so you'll know when my next video comes up. Comment below. Give it a thumbs up from the Australia's most haunted cemetery, Kapunda, St. John's. Now, I don't feel a thing here. So, until our next time somewhere, maybe haunted. I wish you all to be safe, and I'll catch you later. Bye!